up y'all and welcome to my channel I wanted to talk to you guys about another story of mine and don't pay attention to how I look I know people usually dress up and look good on camera sometimes you know if I'm in my house and a story just hits me and I want to share it with you guys no matter what I look like I just jump on camera and let you guys know so this is my reality channel if you're new and haven't seen any of my vlogs before welcome okay welcome anyway I'm just gonna jump right into it let's talk about there was a vlog that I did a while back and I flashed my tattoo into the screen by accident and said oh yeah you know I used to be a lesbian this is what this is about so let's talk about that <clears throat> I've always known that I I don't know it was weird for me when I was when I was little I always identified with the same sex like what I mean by that is I won't go too deep into it but like like my dad was so homophobic in the house like he did not my dad did not want any like gay guys around my mom like he didn't like when she hung out with them like he just was not feeling the whole thing okay and my mom never had like female like gay female friends or anything like that it was always guy friends but I never saw like two women together I never saw any of that when I was five years old literally that's what happened like I had a, a little girl who came on to me we're the same age I was just like what the hell I just went with it and we kissed each other I didn't even like think about it and that's literally what happened and like we were little kids and growing up and you know I always remembered that and I think around 11 years old like I, I started remembering and like you know feeling started coming out and I was just like you know what that's what I want to do so pretty much I was a lesbian up until I was about 18 years old and then I not even 18 years old I take that back because I was more like 20 <laughs> Let's add on a couple of years to that because my son was born in 20 when I was 21 and me and my girlfriend at the time had been trying to have a baby and we couldn't have a baby like we were not like you know what I mean like we were going to the sperm bank my mom was helping us my mom was so cool about the whole situation she was cool my girlfriend proposed in front of my mom it was like my my family like and that's why I'm so I'm so protective over my mom she loved me no matter freaking what like she was my that was my homie that was my friend that was my mom but she loved me you know to the end like there was no end <laughs> I just but anyway I'm getting sidetracked she like she allowed the situation to happen um i guess she kind of figured like hey it's better than a guy getting you pregnant in my late teens there was really nothing she could do about it um and when i came out to her and told her that you know i was gay she was like um i was waiting on you to tell me i guess i used to always make comments about things i don't know and she just picked up on it throughout the years but yeah so you know that's what happened I was in a relationship for like four years with a female and um then like pretty much the cycle of my life has been like in a relationship with a female in a relationship with a man well since I tried it and then I got my first two kids okay and then in a relationship with a female and then somehow it about I never mixed the two and don't get this wrong I don't take it wrong at all but it's never had like it's never been the type of girl that looks like me it's always been like the girl who looks a little butchier you know what I mean like manlier or should I say but I don't know why as a kid there is no explanation behind that like I said my mom censored everything my mom would pre-watch a Disney movie and come back and would be like 
okay, you're able to watch this, or she knew something was coming up in a movie, she'd be like, hey, she would call our name from in the kitchen so we'd have to turn around. And I never picked up on that. She was a smart lady. She would literally call our name when that part came up, and she'd be like, hey, Danielle. That was me. That's my middle name. Danielle. And then she'd be like, Nikki, Frankie. And then we'd be like, huh? And turn around and look. And then she would literally be looking at the TV and holding a conversation with us until that part was over with. And then, you know, whatever mom tricks, whatever works, whatever works. I pick up on the same thing. I do the same thing to my children. So, all right, guys. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog. Leave comments down below. Look, if you're going to judge me, you're going to judge me regardless. This is my life. This is who I am. And I am not afraid to talk about it at all. So, people are going to judge you regardless if you're honest, if they want to make up a story about you and, you know, make their own opinion about you, whatever, whatever, that's all you got to say. Because at the end of the day, what, what difference does your opinion make about someone's life? Does it change it? Does it... Like, I mean, I'm just trying to figure out, like, okay, you have something to say, but anyway, that's how I live my life. I don't really care. Judge, people judge people all day, whatever. But it doesn't hurt my feelings. It doesn't bother me. And um, anyway, guys, you should live like that. Please don't let people's little, especially if you have a YouTube channel, whatever. Don't, that does, it really doesn't matter. All right. At the end of the day, be the best you you can be. And life is always about improving and making things better for yourself. You don't want to stay in the same place. You don't want to stay consistent in life. You want to grow and grow and grow. I just want to throw that in there. You guys have a great day. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you guys are digging these story times, please let me know. So, you know, I can totally continue them because I don't really know. I really don't know. I'm just guessing that you like them. But give this video a thumbs up if you like it, guys. And we'll see you guys again for our next vlog story time. Who knows? Hit that subscribe button.